my name is Steve Curran and I'm a long-term boat broker, boat dealer here in Marina Del Rey. And we're here to uh, talk about racing on Wednesday night. I've been sailing Sunset Series for over 50 years and uh, always loved it. Just a great event in the middle of the week to be out there with a bunch of people going around the buoys and getting your mind off the problems that we have all week. And uh, we're out in Class C. Uh, where all the boats in our class are, most of them are J-boats. They're all about one-third the age of ours or, or less. And uh, I think the oldest person on board is 82 and the youngest is 22 and uh, all different skill levels and all different personalities, but uh, all take ourselves a little lightly and are having a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, we seem to be having pretty good speed and right now we're in first place overall for the season. Something special being the only wood boat out there, that's where we are right now. Until recently, uh, most people were introduced to racing or many people were introduced to racing through the cruising class in Reina Del Rey. Cruising class is a group of cruising class sailboats and it was created maybe 35 years ago uh, one of the key people in creating it was a man named Millard Rosing, who is a dear friend of mine. And uh, actually the overall trophy was uh, the Millard Rosing trophy. Uh, one of my favorite stories about, about the cruising class is, uh, is about a 52 foot boat that uh, I, uh, I actually borrowed to do a sea trial a long time ago. And I wanted to do something nice for the owner. I asked him, what uh, what I could do and he said you could take me out racing on Wednesday night so in those days I actually was involved in the management of the cruising class and so I would assign the rating and I gave him a rating and I gave him a sale number and we were out on the water that afternoon on Wednesday night and he just fell in love with racing to the point that he decided that he wanted to race to Hawaii the next summer and he raced to Hawaii and my daughter actually was on the boat with some other friends and he ended up winning his class. Then he just kept on going. He raced to Hawaii probably a total of 15 times. The race to Hawaii is every two years. It's a case where maybe getting involved on a Wednesday night just on the spur of the moment kind of changed his life and made it so the last, last half of his life really kept him focused on something that meant a lot to him and frankly meant a lot to my daughter. Yeah, my son found Tinderbox about eight years ago. It's, a, it's actually a, it was a good competitive racing sloop made uh, in Oceanside or above the hills of Oceanside and launched in 1983. And it's a boat that had been kind of neglected for a while. It was sitting in a slip in Long Beach and Drew found it at a good price on Craigslist and we went down there and bought it. I grew up in Santa Barbara and started sailing when I was in third grade and got very involved with racing and became a junior member of the Santa Barbara Yacht Club. And in those days, most of the boats were wood. And the old timers around Santa Barbara poo-pooed this new thing called fiberglass. In fact, I can remember one old guy saying, if God wanted boats to be made out of fiberglass, he would have planted fiberglass trees. And nowadays, all the boats are glass, or most of them are glass. And I think we're the only wood boat out of probably 80 to 90 boats out there every Wednesday night that's made out of wood. And there's some real advantages of fiberglass. Old fashioned wood boats would need to be replanked or refastened or sister ribs. Now our boat is not plank like that. It's what's called cold molded. It's a process where you build boats over a male mold with thin veneer and you put enough on it and you glue it together so it becomes one solid piece of wood and it retains its shape and you don't have planks and you don't have ribs and you don't have fasteners.